you guys, how you doing? It's Layla here and today I'm going to be recreating a highly requested um, look that Bella Swan wore in the Twilight movie for her wedding day. This is what um, the hairstyle looks like. I'll just quickly go around and show you what the hairstyle looks like from all sides. So if you guys want to know how to recreate it, stay tuned and I'll show you exactly what you need to do. So the first thing I'm going to do is, like always, just brush through the hair. Next you want to kind of bring all the hair back and we're going to be teasing this top section right here to create a bit of texture um, in the hair and before I do that I'm just going to spray the strands and then tease the hair with the teasing brush. So I'm just going to tease all of this portion right here. So I just teased all of this portion basically from the crown to the top and um, I'm just looking at the picture and it looks like it's, she doesn't really have a parting. It's kind of like the hair is just kind of pulled back just like this and then we have um, a side braid going from the like her right to the left. So I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm just going to separate this hair because that's where it's sort of separated and then what we're gonna do is section off the part that we're gonna braid. So I'm just grabbing the section of hair from um, the hairline, just kind of like on the side right here, about this much. And then before I start braiding, you wanna just pull out um, very thin strands of hair, which looks like start at about right here. So you wanna just kind of pull them out and separate those pieces because those are gonna kind of stay out of the braid. So once you have the sections pulled out and then you have your section ready, all you want to do is just start braiding this section. And it looks like um, it starts off sort of loose and then, it, and then it gets a little tighter. So that's what we're going to do as well. We're going to start braiding the hair loosely and I'm bringing the forward strand over the middle and then the back strands over the top. And then we're just going to braid that and go all the way to the end of the hair. Okay, once you got the braid in and you just secure the bottom, you want to separate the section from the front on the other side um, and just leave that. And then what you want to do is gather the hair in the back and we're going to be creating a sort of bun. So we're going to fix up the teased up portion and start to pin that section. And I'm gonna turn around so you guys can see what I'm doing. Sort of half of the hair, okay? And so the camera stopped recording there. What I was saying is you wanna gather up the hair in the back from ear to ear and then just secure the section with lots of bobby pins. So once you got that in place, what you wanna do is just pick up that section that you just um, pinned. And then what you wanna do is separate that from the rest of the hair and then you're going to start to twist the hair and just um, create a bun. So what you're doing is just basically twisting the hair and then just wrapping it around itself just like this and then you want to tuck in the ends. Here's where you can use the, the hair pins. So you just want to pin as many times as you feel you need. So you're picking up the hair from the bun and attaching it onto the head. So once you have the bun in place, which was the top portion, what you wanna do is basically do the same thing with the remaining hair, but we're gonna divide that into two sections. And then what you want to do is start to twist the hair going um, basically inwards. So this would be going outwards, but we're gonna twist the hair going inwards. So we're gonna twist and once you start to twist, you kind of want to um, create another bun as you're twisting and just wrap the hair around itself to create another bun. Then we're going to grab the hairpins and start to secure the bun. And then we're just going to repeat the process and do the same thing with this hair as well. So what I'm doing is um, just bringing the hair back and then starting to twist it inwards and as I'm twisting it inwards 
I'm just going to kind of create a bun on top of the other two buns that we just created. Start to pin this in place using the hairpins. So once you have the hair pinned in the back, what you want to do is just separate the few strands of hair at the front before we start to pin this portion. And uh, you can just use your fingers or you can use the rat tail comb, whatever is easier for you. Okay, so once you have separated the few strands at the front, what you want to do with this section is kind of smooth it over with your fingers and bring it towards um, your, uh, your ear. And then I'll just turn around so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. So what you're going to do is just hold the hair in place and then bring this hair basically around the bun. And it's just going to create a really pretty um, effect. So once you position the hair, you want to start to uh, grab your bobby pins and just pin this in place. And then you want to go around and continue to pin this hair all the way around the bun. Last thing we need to do is just secure the braid um, against your head and around the bun. So what it is, it's uh, basically just you're going to flatten the braid against your head just like this and then you're going to position it all the way around the bun and then secure that in place. So I'm going to grab bobby pins and just go all the way around the braid and secure it um, against my head. So I'm just using a bobby pin right here to secure the braid around and then I'm going to bring it over and hide um, the end there at the bottom of the bun and then we're going to bring the um, bottom of the braid and just make sure that the ends are not sticking out and just sort of hide it underneath the bun and secure that in place. So once you have secured the braid all the way around the bun, the look is finished and I'll just quickly go, uh, go around and show you guys what it looks like from all sides. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the look and we'll give it a try. And if you guys are actually Twilight fans, let me know in the comments below if you guys are Team Edward or Team Jacob. I still can't decide. <laughs> I kind of want to pick both. But anyways, I hope you guys are having a great day so far and I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye!